The Ronald McDonald House of Central Florida just got bigger. This is the brand new facility just unveiled today at Nemours Children's Hospital. We were there for the grand opening. From pint-sized superheroes to tiny princesses, this superhero squad marched their way into Orlando's third new Ronald McDonald House, now open for families of sick and injured children. Ronald McDonald! And even the icon himself. One, two, three! Cut the ribbon to the new $8 million home at Nemours Children's Hospital. Families we spoke to say having these houses at different hospital campuses helps save lives. Kenzie was born three months early and she was one pound 11 ounces. So she had to be in the NICU over there for 97 days so that she could survive and then come home. And I got to see her every day because we got to stay at the Ronald McDonald House. I actually stayed at one when my son was born for three months. It was uh, unexpected um, that when he went into the hospital three months early and it was so wonderful to stay close to the hospital. This home is the first in Central Florida to feature a playground, gardens and a courtyard, all to give families places for rest and reflection, which they say is exactly what's needed to deal with tough times. We're just so happy that this facility is here for people because it's really needed. The nearly 29,000 square foot home will have 15 bedrooms, a kitchen and dining rooms, laundry facilities and a children's playroom. Orlando is just the sixth city in the country to have three Ronald McDonald houses at three hospitals. I was out there for the groundbreaking and it's always oh, you meet these parents and yes. it really is such an important thing in the Moore's just an incredible facility. They really are and mm -hmm. seeing those kids in their little superhero. Yeah, I want to be a part of their squad, don't you? Yes, so absolutely. Cute. Yeah, adorable.